Hey, welcome to my replay of this fun and fab live. Uh, it's Friday night. Hope you are having an amazing night and a great TGIF. I know I am. And it's about to get even better. So, as soon as I can see you guys, normally my, um, my website just like pops right up, but this time it didn't. So let's see why. Pin it. I don't know. So weird. Okay. So, hi guys. I am going to do a fun little project. And I need to see myself and see where I have this going. Oh gosh. I'm clicking on things. This, my iPad's not working correctly. Um, I don't know why. It's a super cute, fun, fabulous tutu handbag. Check this out. It's a little tutu, so cute. And it's a little handbag for a little sweet girl who um, is going to love this on her trip to Myrtle Beach coming up. Why is this not working? There I am, I see myself, yay. Okay, so let's see. This is my, this is my bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to personalize it. And so I just wanted to show you all how simple and easy it is to actually personalize just about anything. This adorable little bag. I'm gonna put my niece's name on this and I'm gonna pick my colors. So I'm gonna use ink, which means I'm going to be heat setting this. I need to unplug for a second. And uh, so I'm going to turn on my heat press. Okay. So I'm going to pick my color. I'm going to do white because it'll match the cute polka dots. I'm going to take my ink mat and put it inside this. Oh, look, it fits perfectly. Put it inside. That's going to give me a nice, um, solid stick to surface. Now, the handles here are kind of double the fabric. Hi, Terry. Hi, Robin. Hi, Mare. Hi, Tammy. Hello, hello. So, hi, Michelle. And so, what I'm doing is just kind of sticking it in there. I don't think the ink will go through here. We're gonna use, we're gonna use white ink. I don't think the ink will go through here, but um, you never know. So I'm just gonna put it on there. And all I have to do is take out my letters, my alphabet font. So Chocotour has fonts. Hi, Cindy. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, Chocotour has alphabet fonts and basically the most versatile font that I would ever, ever, ever recommend is called our chalk font. And the reason why I would recommend our chalk font is because you actually get three full fonts with this one transfer set. Hi, Jennifer. So you get an uppercase. Oh, geez, my bag. You get an uppercase and a lowercase that look like this, kind of like chalky letters. 
And then you also get a tall and skinny set of um, letters, too. So you actually are getting like three full sets of letters, and it's very, very versatile. So I'm just pulling out my letters, and um, there, that was easy. Uh, super easy. Now I'm going to put the ones I'm not using away to the side, and I'm going to kind of map this out. B, E, and then I'm going to do an L, and then an L, and then an A. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it. This is a little bumpy, so I'm going to see how our my transfers stick to the bumpiness. I kind of wanted to avoid the bumpiness, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Maybe I could squeeze it together. There's just bumpiness on the handle, that's all, because there's extra fabric there. I'm going to do B, E, L, L. Yeah, I think I can squeeze it in here and not have to go over. So what I want to do is use my fingers. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Christy. Hey, Melissa. I want to use my fingers to make sure that this adhesive is really, really. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Laura. Hey, Chris really really stuck down and I'm gonna open my ink and I will give it a stir I have my little stir stick make sure you don't get the ink on you nice and smooth I love the ink so so much so it's nice and smooth I am not going to use this stir stick to apply the ink because remember our ink is a little different we want to apply it with a squeegee okay I think it's there and I'm going to use the small one so that I can really get in all the little crevices like the nooks and crannies of this bumpy part. The other the other letters won't have to deal with this bump. This is just on the handle because I'm doing it centered and I just oh I've just got this little bit that needs to be covered. Yes, I did make room for two L's. I kind of um, eyeballed it. I know I only have one L, but okay. So here's the B. And to be honest, so what I what I kind of was talking about when I said keep a lookout for. Oh, that's good. That looks that turned out okay. Keep a lookout for deals. No matter where you are in what store, you should just always kind of be looking in the clearance section. Why? Because you never know what you're going to find. And if you are like a true crafter, hi Sherry, kind of like me, hi Amy, then you will like be on the lookout for anything. I think I found this bag for like a dollar seventy-five, and it was super cute. I couldn't pass it up and I knew that I could personalize it. So I'm just drying this a little bit so that I can put the next letter on and it'll still kind of, the sticky part, the transfer will overlap. Hi Nikki. Happy Friday everybody. I label the back of mine with the name of the letter. So that's easy when I go back to 
putting that um, on here, make sure I'm sticking to the mat. You hear that, that um, ink mat is sticky. Okay, now this E should be slightly easier because there are less bumps. There is a little bump, but there are less bumps than the B. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Just want to make sure I have all those parts. Okay. There we go. The E is done. And then I'll fit my two L's and then my A on this other bump, which is totally cool. So you see how easy it is to do personalization on pretty much anything. Now that we have the ink, you can chalk, personalize things, but this takes it to a whole nother level. So you know, all of you who are paying outlandish prices to have your things personalized, I can put all of our sports t-shirts, I can do our last name on the back so quick and so inexpensively with the alphabet fonts that we carry. Like, I do not have to pay 5 or $10 to have somebody else do it for me. It's so easy making, let's see, I just want to make sure that I kind of get it the same. Okay, using my finger to press that down. Thanks, Sherry. This is pretty, pretty oh, quick and oh. easy. The ink does not dry as quickly. It is much slower to dry than the chalk. Now that chalk dries pretty quick, but this ink does not. And so it's really, if I can say, even easier to work with than the chalk. It, they're for to you're gonna use them for different reasons. I'm going to do a quick wipe off of this. You don't want your ink at all to, to dry to your screen. Um, if the chalk dries to your screen, eh, no big deal. It washes with water. If the ink dries to your screen, it's a little more detrimental. So we just want to make sure it stays where we want it to stay and not on our screen, for sure, for sure. Okay. Okay. Next L. I hope my little niece loves this. We are going to Myrtle Beach next week for spring break. And, um, I'm sure she'll love this. If we go out to dinner or something, she can bring it with her or whatever, put her little toys in here, or a little notebook and a pen or something. Some some hair ties or something, you know. You know how little girls are. Definitely. I should tag her mom in this video so she can see what I made for her. Maybe I'll give it to her for Easter since we're gonna be there over Easter. That would be a nice little gift. And then the last letter we're gonna do is our A. And so I hope your mind is racing of all the things that you could do now that we have the ink. Oh, don't yell at me. My uh, heat press is yelling at me. I'm here. I'm going to use you. Don't worry.
and we have all of these really awesome colors. So we have white and black, and midnight sky, which is like a navy blue. We have a red. We have a teal and a copper and a gold. Oh, and my favorite, we have the silver. And those are all, those are shimmery. The gold, copper, and silver. Those are amazing. All right, this is bumpy. So I'm gonna have to kind of take my time and do parts and pieces. Oh, that worked pretty well. It was stuck down, I think, nice and... Okay, I think it's done. Let's see how it's turned out. And then I need to heat set this. Oh, it's awesome, you guys. So now I need to heat set this in order to make it permanent. So you can use an iron and put it on a cotton setting. Well, first you need to dry your ink. So your ink needs to be dried. I'm gonna take out my ink mat, replace the cover, and set that aside. And now I'm just gonna make sure this is dry because, hi Kendra, make sure this is dry because you have to have it dry before you can heat set it. If you were inking anything that you're gonna heat set in the oven, like glassware or bakeware or coffee mugs or anything like that, you wanna make sure it is dry before you heat set it, before you put it in your oven. But this stuff, I'm gonna cover it with this is, I got that A a little bit thick on the tail end, so I'm just gonna keep drying it. And um, wave it a little bit. Now, we're gonna put some, that's still a little tacky, a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna put some parchment paper Put the parchment paper over it and then heat set it. So with your iron at a cotton setting for about four minutes, back and forth and back and forth on either side of it. This is kind of not double sided, so I probably will just do the one side, but that works. I have my little, hold on, I am going to go ahead and take this put this in my my bucket of water. I'm going to close up my ink. Set it aside. Move all of this stuff. All the stuff that's in my way. Goodness gracious. I have a hoarding problem when it comes to my workspace. Okay. So I'm going to set this over it. And we are just going to heat set for 30 seconds and um, should be done by then. We're just counting it down. Counting down. This is a really, really easy way to do it. It's nice, not hot. It's at 310. Usually I do Three um, oh five, whatever. Three ten, three five, three oh five. It is heat set, and so now this awesome little bag is permanent for my niece. So we can take this with us to Myrtle Beach. And seriously, this little gift was like a dollar seventy-five. Isn't that cute? I love it, and it's a little tutu. And who does not love? A little tutu bag. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing rest of your Friday night, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.